We have all these types. This will be for uh, for the Crown Zenith break. We have all these types of randomizers list five times. One, two, three, four, and five. We've got electric at the top, normal at the bottom. The next question will be, where are the mini tins? Oh, over there. <laughs> Brilliant. That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> We're actually just opening nothing today. That's the that's what's happening. <laughs> oh, Nintendo trading cards. I mean, they already have like amiibos and stuff, which I guess they're like not exactly the same, but they're kind of similar. Yeah, it's the only collectible thing that they have, um, I think, like, in period. They, they did have old trading cards, but yeah. Oh, they did have, I mean, they weren't cards, but they, oh my like God. stickers almost? Yeah. yeah some, something like that. And I feel like, I remember, I always saw ads for them on TV, and I never got them, but those little, like, they were like little stands, and you could connect them to, I can't remember what game console it was. Um, and like they would be a character in the game. It's one of those things that I like saw on TV as a kid, but I was like never gonna, like never gonna get them. So, you know, all, all part of the fun. A shout out for Matt Simpson, sure. There's your shout out pronouncing a name correctly. I feel like, I feel like I've mastered the art of these tins now. It's been that many times. Finally got here. Oh, I say that. I'm gonna start flinging tins across the room soon. Uh, you can buy more than two. We only have, we only have, uh, I believe, two boxes worth. So um, that that is all the cherry box we have available for that product. You can buy more than two, but we will run out. Still got most of my Mortal Kombat two cards from the arcade gaming days. Man, that'd be killer. <laughs> Blake has uh, Blake has left a a card. He recorded a podcast today. Oh yes. Um, which I won't, I won't give any more details, but he recorded a podcast and in anticipation for being interrupted, he's written out a, a card in advance. That I will wait until we're back onto, onto the main screen to, to share. Oh, I'm intrigued. It's, it's genius, really. Some of his best work. <laughs> Is it like like a talking point, or to like hold up to the it's, screen? It's a it's something to that it's something to ward off intruders. Ward off intruders. Yeah. Okay, stunning. He's done his best rep repellent work here. <laughs> just what just what we all need. Right, every once in a while. I always get so disoriented with like how many goes in each pile. We we sort of got there. It it'll work. It'll work. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do the mini tins. <laughs> Is it called Bailey? <laughs> no, it's a little bit more intricate than that. Zation and Mirvi. Good start. I will take that. Gum shoes. Ooh. Oh, I heard the um the new set of Scarlet Violet are changing the order of the cards. 
So you no longer have to do the like move cards to the front for the pack trick. You can just like open them and they're in the right order. I think because they're, they're now copying the Japanese like number of cards in a pack. And so the, the, the card trick thing only applied to English packs because there were more cards. No, I think English packs still have the same number of cards. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, um, they actually have, I think they're having an extra reverse hollow in the new set as well. So oh. um, they're getting rid of, rid of the non hollow rare cards, and there's just like the, they're, all the rare cards are going to be hollow now. Um, which means, oh, is there aura? Um, yeah, so you still get like the same number. Yeah, three foil cards. Um, which is kind of exciting, but I feel like, I don't know if that makes them, like, less desirable or, like, how it's going to affect the value of them. Japanese have less cards. That, that, that's right, yeah. Three hollow packs, three hollows per pack, yeah. Good work, TCG. That's a, that's a good step forward. Next thing we know, we'll have all hollow cards, just only hollow cards. I'm still waiting for numbered variants. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting for my, my shiny Pikachu to 10. I mean, fair, fair. I would be very down for that. Oh, Raihan. And Simisir V-Star. Very nice. Zero Aura and Drick Algae. Comfy. That is such a cute. Oh my god, such a cool card. And Zemazenta. I wish they did more with Comfy. Comfy I reminds agree. me of a Limamola, where it's just like, or like a love disc rather. Yeah. Where you you expect it to be part of something more. But it just never is. It's sort of like a like a token. It just is what it is. Yeah, like it's it's the concept art for the example they were going for. Yes. Bidoof. Yeah, I feel like that's some of those Pokemon that they made for like, like I feel like Love Disc was made for like an occasion. It feels like the kind of Pokemon they like made for Valentine's Day so they could say they had a Valentine's Day Pokemon and then just left. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, I speaking of Love Disc. <laughs> oh, there we Snorlax. go. The important Pangora there. Absolutely. Volcarona. Shaman. Getting getting a lot of reverse hollows. A lot of reverse hollows. The worst part of opening cards with the boy is when we pull a good card, he needs to put it away. Uh, he needs to be put away and top loaded and the normal crew kicks off. I want to take it to school. I did that all the time. If I didn't keep my cards safe, I just sent them in as they were. No sleeving, no, no top loading. I feel like, yeah, I never had like Pokemon trading cards in school. Um, so I just like watched, oh, ditto. 
Um, I just like watched everyone else's and they all had that like massive stack that was just like elastic banded together. <laughs> Yeah. And the number of times I watched someone like drop all of them into like a puddle on a rainy day. Like normally I would be really sad, but when they tell you that you can't play Pokemon cards because you're a girl, it's the most satisfying thing. <laughs> Trade you all the crap for a good card. Oh, for sure. Pass, it is Friday. Welcome. It doesn't feel like Friday. Everybody, everybody in the office is saying that. Yeah. Mind you, I feel like my sense of time is just a bit messed up at the moment. Oh, Pancham, Sweet and V. Very nice card. And an energy. I think it's, I think this not being a Friday is offset by the fact that Monday is public holiday. Oh, true. Which I keep forgetting good. about that. Are you doing anything for the long weekend? Nothing I can think of particularly. I'm trying to make more videos and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Have you told them that we're waiting for Avengers in a case? Oh, yeah. Sign me up, too. I'll be waiting with you, lads. <laughs> It's incredible. I don't think I've looked at them yet. There are some, some real good ones in there. I saw Ego. Ooh. Ego Living Planet. Full Art Cricket Tune. And Volcanion. Still reckon Cricket Tune is like, deserves a, a Disney movie. Disney princess, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yes, we did, we did confirm this as fact. Who needs, who needs Cinderella? Do you think the glass shoe would fit Cricketer? I mean, it's, it's the perfect fit for the right match, so I feel like it has to. Full up, Bibarel. Mm. I honestly, I keep forgetting that the UK has a king now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. The, the, the I don't have monocle updates. No. Every time I hear, like, king, I just assume someone's talking about, like, something fictional. Um, yeah. Yeah. Last one. We got Luxio, Lost Vacuum, Solrock, Shinx, Wilma, Galarian Meowth, Boltoy, Tangela. <gasps> The gold origin form Diagla V star. Okay, the last one isn't exciting, but that's exciting. Oh my god. God, what a way to end. Such a good cut. I'm so glad that was in the last pack.